What's going on, y'all? Oh, man. So, I was in my car one day, and the Lord gave me a powerful vision. Um, I was just, just had my mind on the Lord. And when I had my mind on the Lord, it's like, uh, I seen his hand, like, I seen his hand, like, coming down from the sky. And I knew it was the Lord. I was just spending time with God. And I was praying to him. And I seen his hand. And I heard the Lord say, take my hand, son. And when I took his hand, I went up. I literally went up into the sky. And when I went up to the sky, I heard the Lord say, um, and I knew it was like, um, around like, you know, like when uh, we get judged and stuff. And this vision was like basically like about for those who make it, you know, who those make it to heaven. And I heard the Lord say, well done, my good and faithful servant. And in my spirit, it felt like I was being hugged, you know, felt this comfort, this so much peace. And uh, I heard the Lord, I heard Jesus say, um, he said, welcome to my kingdom. And then I seen the, these doors, these heaven gates door. Um, I seen it just open, cracked open, like, like make the little door noise like, and it opened up slowly. And when I saw the uh, doors open, I seen this bright bursting light. And it was hard to look at when I seen it. And then uh, when I seen it inside, I seen like this beautiful land. Like I can't even describe it, man. Like I seen this beautiful land and I knew it's like the Lord was allowing me to see part of heaven. I didn't see all of it, but I seen part of it. It's like this beautiful land and the colors were so vibrant. Like the green looked so vibrant. The trees looked so vibrant. The colors, the flowers, the plants looked so vibrant. And um, it looked so heavenly like. Um, and I seen this river. This, the waters looked so clear. The waters look, was like sparkling, like crystal clear sparkling. And it was this long river. It was just what I felt just seeing that was so much peace. That peace that only God, that Jesus Christ could give you. That peace that surpasses all understanding. And seeing something like that, I felt so much joy. You know, I can't describe it really, but that's the best way I could put it. And the verses that came to mind when getting this vision was uh, in Revelation 21, verse 4, it says, And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, and the former things are passed away. When I was there, it was like, it was so much peace and joy, like, like, I, it's just, I can't, it's the best way I can describe it, but it's just, I felt so much love too, seeing heaven and what the Lord was allowing me to see, what he was showing me and other verses that came to my mind. So I seen like this long, beautiful river, crystal clear, crystal clear, just sparkling and this beautiful land, just abundance, just, just so much life, you know, and the verse that came to my mind, uh, the Lord put in my mind was Re Revelation 22, um, so Revelation 22, verse 1, going down to verse 3, it says, And he showed me a pure river of water of life, clear as crystal, proceeding out of the throne of God and the other Lamb. In the midst of the street of it, and on either side of the river, was, the, the, was there the tree of life, which bare twelve manners of fruit, and yielded her fruit every month. And the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. And there shall be no more curse, but the throne of God, and of the lamb shall be in it, and his servants shall serve him. You know, man, heaven's gonna be such a beautiful place. You know, um, I'm just sharing what the Lord showed me in this vision, just talk about how beautiful heaven's gonna be, how exciting it is gonna be to be in heaven, to be with the Lord, to be raptured, you know, to be with the Lord, to meet the Lord in the air forever and ever, to be with Jesus, you know, but I just wanted to share this uh, this vision the Lord gave me. But I also want to still implement how it's important that we repent. 
please repent. Please come into the faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus is the only way to salvation. Jesus is the only way and truth in life. He gives you true peace. He gives you true joy. And when you come into faith in the Lord Jesus <laughs> and you follow Jesus, you deny yourself, you take up your cross daily, you follow Jesus, you hold on to your faith. It says those that shall endure to the end, shall, uh, those the same shall be saved. When you keep your faith to the end, we going to heaven. And heaven is such a beautiful place. Only it was allowed. The Lord would show me a piece of it. But I, I seen the beautiful land. I seen the the just how uh the the river uh the the long river just beautiful water you know, and the joy I had. And I seen the Lord's hand. He said, "Take my hand, son." And he took me up. Just like on the rapture, we're gonna be taken up. But I'm just sharing this. Uh, just sharing this vision the Lord gave me while I was in the car. I pray that you guys will all repent. I pray that you all will keep standing strong in your faith. Hold on to your faith. It's all worth it. It is all worth it. Because being with Jesus in heaven, it's going to be one of the most beautiful things ever. By far the be most beautiful thing ever. By far the most joyful, peaceful place you could possibly be. But... Uh, I pray that you guys stay strong because you got some soldiers. Keep holding on to your faith because the real fight is holding on to your faith. That's what spiritual warfare, the real fight is holding on to your faith. But I pray that you guys hold on to your faith. Y'all stay strong to the end because y'all some soldiers. But I love y'all, God. Y'all stay blessed in Jesus' name.